moment you've all been waiting for. <laughs> well, Hannah's been waiting for. You've been waiting We're days. back together. Yeah, we are. <laughs> and for good this time, guys. Yeah, I'm so excited. I have been in the UK now for 10 days. 10 days. My quarantine is over. That's what I was referencing. About. We are getting our booties out of the house. Yeah, it's good. I'm so excited. We're going to go shopping because there's a lot of cute stores open that have spring clothes and spring is on the horizon. Yeah, get some retail therapy in. We don't need it. to wear these coats very much longer. Uh, yeah, it's, it's warm enough. It needs to get a few degrees warmer and then we're good. Anyways, we're going to go shopping. We're going to get some lunch. We're going to meet up with some friends. It's going to be a good day. We're going to have fun. Today wasn't... Today didn't start off super good. It was my first day out of quarantine, no. and um, we were supposed to go take a photo. Just the lighting wasn't right, so we had to scrap it. And then the second thing that happened was I was supposed to pick up my real visa today at the post yeah. office. Is, um, is it a biometrics, BRI card? BRP card. Biometrics. My biometrics. I don't Residency know. permit. Was that? Yeah, it's yeah. my actual visa. Anyways, we were supposed to pick it up today at the post office. I thought the post office might be closed on a Sunday, but we looked it up and it said it was open, so we went anyways. And it was closed. <laughs> and it was closed. So I have to go get it tomorrow. So that was kind of a womp. Yeah. But we're going to have a really fun day, and I'm super excited. We're going to turn it around. And I'm really good. happy that we are... <laughs> together. Back yeah. together again, guys. Long distance sucks, and if you're in a long distance relationship, we feel you. Well, it's weird because normally... Every time Hannah would come here or I would go there, it's like we got three months to like spend as much time as we can with each other doing whatever we want to do. But now it's like two and a half years. Now it's don't, like, don't have to worry about it. We're doing life, honey. Yeah. We're, we're living. We're going to get our own place. Yeah. Making so, moves. Only good things from here. So yeah, yeah. we're really excited and we're going to go have a fun day shopping. Yeah. ever um, we went shopping today I picked up a few bits which I'll show you guys when we get home um, George is driving <laughs> again we always check in in the car because I feel like I don't know if it was like COVID or what it was but vlogging in public has become something I just don't enjoy doing I get so embarrassed um, but we ended up going shopping I got some cute stuff I went to, we went to H&M um, where else? Zara, Zara. Um, they have a lot of cute spring stuff, but I was really trying to refrain because since moving here I came with a lot of clothes and I'm trying <laughs> my best to eliminate clothing, so only buying bits that I really, really need. Um, but we ended up going to see George's friend Nick and his girlfriend Freya and they just bought a new house here in the UK and um, they moved in like, what, two months ago? Yeah, it's, uh, it's not been long, so I've been dying to go around and see their house. And, yeah. Uh, yeah, it's, it's such a lovely place. Yeah, their house was so adorable and we're really happy for them. Um, I just feel like everyone's making big life moves this year, so it was really cool to see their place and we went on a really quick walk. And But what was so cool about that walk, it was right outside their back door pretty much, so they're really lucky that they have just access to such pretty area like that um that's something we're definitely looking for when we're gonna buy our home anyways best purchase of the day by far has to be my new sunglasses and in england they call them sunnies i got these bad boys from primark and they were only one pound and i'm obsessed with them best one pound i've ever spent um they were like literally the same price as the parking so we love that for us anyways um we're heading home now oh yeah. and i had nando's guys my yeah, first Nando's. Nando's. I have been in England. I lived in England for like six months and I've never had Nando's. We had Nando's for lunch. 
and it was really good. Other than that, I think today's a wrap. Yeah, <laughs> we're just gonna go a, home. It's been a good day though. Yeah, we're gonna This go morning wasn't fun because obviously we went to go and pick up the card and then the post office was closed. Obviously it's a Sunday, but online it said it was open, but you know. Just not really thinking straight. But you know, seeing Nick and Freya, uh, yeah, it was really good to see some friends and have some food with them. Yeah. Socialize like normal. Yeah, just really happy for A little them. bit of normalcy. Yeah. Anyways, um, if you want some cool glasses like me, go to Primark. I'm telling ya, one pound. Okay guys, it's a few days later and I thought this would be a really good time to kind of just give you guys a little life update and an update about everything that's been going on since I've arrived back in the UK. I realize that I've been here for almost three weeks now and we've been doing kind of a crummy job vlogging, um, but that's mostly due to the fact that we haven't been doing many exciting things. So for those of you who don't know, um, if you plan on coming to the UK, you have to quarantine for 10 days. So my first 10 days here, I was just in the house, not doing much quarantining, abiding by government regulations. For anyone planning to come to the UK as well, you have to test on day two and day eight of your quarantine to show that you have a negative test. Now I am already vaccinated, so I knew I would pass those tests easily, especially since I made sure when I was traveling to stay away from as many people as possible. Yeah, nothing really stressful about that, but you do have to to take those two tests. I think they might be changing that rule in the coming weeks, so just stay up to date with government regulations. But anyways, it's been really boring around here to be honest. I have been just doing a lot of administrative things as you do when you move to a new country. So I had to register for the NHS, I had to register for a national insurance number, get a bank account set up, get a new phone. So lots of like random boring things that we've been running errands and basically trying to finish these past few weeks. In other major, major, major life news, George and I both have a very exciting and busy next few weeks. Behind the scenes of everything, we have actually been applying for full-time jobs at companies, which I know is crazy. We just finally decided that having a consistent paycheck and a job that you know, we know day in and day out we were gonna be paid was really important to us. Basically, freelancing as a travel blogger and a content creator is really fun, especially in our travel niche, but since travel has been literally basically canceled for the past two years, it's been really difficult for us financially, and the two of us really want to try to get our own apartment and maybe even buy a home someday in the near future, and I think for both of us, it just works out better for us to find something a little bit more stable and permanent. That doesn't mean we're going to be giving up blogging or traveling or photography. We still absolutely <laughs> love creating content, and we plan to do it on the side. We plan to be weekend warriors and take time off work if and when we get jobs. But the exciting announcement and life update we have is that George is finding out in a few weeks whether or not he is going to be put full-time at the company that he's actually been working for for the past few months. He's been keeping it a secret because he just didn't want to jinx anything, but he's been working for a company, a media company here in London, and he's been really, really enjoying it, and I've been super proud of him. And I have uh, a few interviews next week, and two of which are with some really big companies. I don't want to disclose the name of them because, again, I don't want to jinx it, so I'll let you know how they go and if they go well, but one of the companies has three rounds of interviews. I have to study a lot. My last round of interviews with that company is like a round table where I have five one-hour interviews with execs of the company. So yeah, the next few days starting today and the next four days, I'm going to be studying like crazy. So again, it'll be pretty quiet around here. I actually have decided to just enjoy my Saturday because today's Saturday. I'm checking in so much later than the last clip, so I'm so sorry if this is all confusing. I did want to show you guys what I ended up buying, though, because I know some of you guys might be in the market for some spring wear, and I did get some cute stuff. I only got... I actually only got like three things, which isn't like that much, but I'm trying to be better with my spending money and I have a lot of clothes and I feel like the clothing industry is not super sustainable. Actually, I don't feel like I know it's not, so I'm trying to kind of just limit what I purchase, really be mindful of what is coming in and out of my closet. And I have this new rule that if anything comes in, 
a few things need to leave. So I'm going to show you what I got right now. Okay, so the first thing that I picked up it were these two linen, like, shirts. One has buttons and like a tie on the side. This one's from Zara. It's like a nice beach cover-up. The linen material is really breathable. It's really nice for like spring. And then I got a pretty similar one but with no like detailing, just more as a cover-up idea from H&M. And for me, I really love linen and I think that it's perfect for spring, summer, and I'm excited to wear those like as a cover-up at the beach or just tied around with some jeans on a sunny day in England. And the last thing that I got, um, I think I showed you guys the sunglasses anyways in the car, but the last thing that I got were these little mules. They're super cute. Let me see if I can show you from the side. I'm like holding them funny. These super cute mules. They're from H&M. Um, I just thought they would be really cute with a little dress thrown over. They're super comfortable and yeah, I just thought they were super cute. As I said, I'm doing my best to monitor my shopping and my spending, especially now that George and I are trying to save. Anyways, I just wanted to check in and give you guys that a little life update. There is a lot going on in the coming weeks and a lot going on in our lives. I think that it has been really difficult for a lot of people, especially like micro influencers or bloggers like us to kind of come to terms with the fact that like the world is opening up yes but very slowly and at what cost it's really hard when you're freelance and it's something that I don't think a lot of people really talk about or open up about but as a freelance blogger and content creator you really don't know when your next paycheck is coming in it's super up and down some months we can have a great month and some months we could go straight with basically making no money or hitting even and I think that that can be really stressful especially after going through that for an entire year this past year and the two of us you know we just got married and our hopes and dreams are to get a home we're living with George's parents and as nice as that is we definitely want our own space so getting jobs is really high up on our priority right now just to have that level of consistency normal and be able to really save for a future. So I don't think George and I are necessarily giving up because like I said, we still plan to take trips here and there and do our best to share content in and around Europe. The beautiful thing about living in the UK is that flights around Europe are super cheap and we can easily get them on a weekend. So we definitely will keep up doing stuff like that. But I think that it would be inauthentic for us to get on here and keep promoting this, oh, blogger lifestyle without being really honest about it because I think there's such a misconception online that people who are influencers or travel bloggers have it all together, they're living the life, and sometimes that portrayal to convince other people to quit their jobs to travel can be extremely toxic and I will admit that we definitely gave into that in the beginning of our trip um, and we definitely promoted that and while I do think that there is a lot of freedom that comes from taking that leap and following your dreams you know you have to do it with a grain of salt in life and really look at things more holistically don't take everything for face value if someone says that they're making six figures online or they're able to travel the world they're probably not and as crappy as that is, I just urge you guys to use your best judgment on what decisions make the most sense for you and your life. Anyways, enough of this like little rant. I'm ranted on for so long. George and I are going on a walk today. It's my one day off, like I said, before I start studying for my interviews. So we're gonna head to Cookham, which is a really pretty village town right on the river. And we're gonna go on a long walk. I think it's about eight miles total. And then we're gonna get some lunch. And that's our plan today because is, honestly the difference between the UK and California at least where I grew where I was before was California was very much still open all the restaurants were open the stores were open life was going back to normal there I think because so many more people were vaccinated and here in the UK it's still kind of shut like restaurants are open but limited capacity and outdoor seating and so the, the most that we can try to do is either go shopping which we did last weekend or exercise and get outside and I think it's so important right now to just get some fresh air so that's what we're gonna do I'll check back in with you guys on our walk in Cookham okay we're on our way to Cookham for our yeah. morning walk it's gonna be fun I'm excited it's quite cold though this morning yeah it is but Oh, I told them, I just told them this morning about your new job, babe. Yeah, exciting. So hopefully I'm going to go 
full time suit. So I've been working there for a month and I'm really enjoying it. It's, uh, it's really good fun. So Yeah, and I'm super proud of him, guys, because yeah. George has like always worked for his dad um, and this is like his first like Property. Well, I haven't had much like real work experience for like big companies or anything like that. Yeah. Um, I've always worked for myself or worked with my dad. Like I've always been, you know, like self-employed pretty much most of the time. So it's uh, an interesting dynamic for sure. But uh, yeah, no, really enjoying it. It's good fun and um, yeah, it's uh, hopefully you know you can get a job soon. <laughs> yeah. So that's our huge life update, guys. We're looking for jobs. Well, I mean, I am. George has one. Yeah. And, uh, hopefully, fingers crossed, if all things goes well this week with my interviews, something sticks. So, I'm going to stay positive. All right, guys. On our walk, so, <laughs> George uh, is super bundled up. You've probably seen this walk before in our vlogs since we absolutely love it. We do it. it all the time. We do it probably every other week. Um, but it's about eight... Five or eight mile? Mm, I can't remember if it's kilometers or miles, but it's, yeah. it's eight something. Yeah. Six miles, eight kilometers. Oh yeah, six miles, eight kilometers. But you guys, look how pretty. It's right along the river, so you can see people rowing or boating. Yeah. And then all of our favorite houses are over here, <laughs> our dream homes. And it's so pretty. So this particular house, I will zoom in. Has this creepy mannequin. Has a creepy mannequin man there always there it's a fake man but he's scary i don't know if he's supposed to like scare off birds or something i think people. is he supposed to scare off birds or people but he's always there so it's a little weird um, i think last time we walked past they put a newspaper in his hand yeah or like a covid mask on him or like oh a yeah mask yeah on yeah because yeah, of covid guys we finished breakfast finished our walk it was yeah. a total of five and five miles eight kilometers five miles that's eight kilometers was. so that's what it was yeah. um now we are at Flowerland, which i will show you right here we just arrived it's actually really it's, busy yeah it's pretty ram so so we have our masks but we're gonna get some seeds because i think may and june are really good times to sow your seeds is that what it's called yeah we're we got to do it now. We're learning it's, how to garden. The, it's at the end of the season. So. George bought like these. What did you buy? Cal Ca Carol uh, Carolina Reapers. Carolina Reaper. Yeah, be chili good. peppers <laughs> that he wants to grow. And then we're going to find something for me to grow because it's just there's something really rewarding about watching your plants grow and then using them while you cook. Yeah. Obviously, when we get our own place, we'll have like one day a bigger garden. But yeah, we're going to go into flower, flower land. So we'll take you guys with us. It's going to be fun. Okay, now we have to pick seeds to grow. I need to find something to grow in the garden. There's so many options. Okay, so we opted to get rosemary, mint, and then some chives, because we can sow them now, and then they'll be ready by the end of summer. Afternoon, guys. I am checking in midday. I've been studying all morning long for my interview on Wednesday. It's Sunday today, and I am really trying my best to be as prepared as possible. I feel like I've been out of the interview game for a few years. I don't think if I was doing the math and talking about it with George yesterday, and I literally haven't applied for a job since 2016. 16 or 2017 yeah 2017 so it's been about four years <laughs> since I've actually applied for a job or had an interview of any of the sort of like that and I just happened to have an interview at probably one of the biggest companies in the world on Wednesday so it is just my first round interview apparently they have about three rounds total I think I explained some of this earlier in the vlog 
but I'm kind of psyching myself out a little bit just because I've been out of practice for so long and I want to make sure that I'm very prepared and knowledgeable about the position I'm applying for, the services that they have. So I literally have a stack of flashcards and a whole list of stuff study materials so literally that's what I'm up to for the next three days kind of boring but George and I are going to take a break because you saw that we bought some seeds yesterday and it's supposed to rain the rest of the week classic English weather anyways we want to sow our seeds before the rain comes so we're going to take a little break plant some seeds and hopefully in a few months we can use some of the stuff in our food and drink um I got mint I got chives, I think I showed you guys, and rosemary, and those are all like really good stuff to use as like garnishes or like when cooking. And I'm really excited for the mint for making my own mint tea, so let's go plant. Okay guys, yesterday when George was putting the seeds away, he found something. <laughs> a robin's made a nest. A robin literally built a nest That's inside cool. the drawer. How did he even get in there? Oh, so cute. So we've just added some stones to the soil because George says it helps with it's a drainage. Drainage. I'm not much of a gardener, but George, obviously, with his landscaping background, oh, I know how to look after plants. Keep the sweater. <laughs> he knows how. So we're gonna try to plant these. Although we did plant chilies last summer and oh, yeah. some parsley, and it was successful. Do you want to show them the new stuff? To... Yeah, I told them. I showed them already. I'll show them again. But we got rosemary, chives. Oh, George has his California reapers. Carolina. Or Carolina, sorry. Biased by state, and my mint for my tea. So we're just gonna plant them in these like separated ones and then we're gonna transfer them to like bigger pots I think. Yeah. Pretty much. We're gonna see what happens. So George is starting by just kind of prepping these <laughs> and we're following the instructions on the back of the seed guide basically. Well yeah as loosely as possible. <laughs> as much, although you know what the issue is is that we've had a really cold spring. So we might have to germinate these So inside. we have to germinate most of them inside so he's gonna do that and then I'm gonna put some seeds in. Yeah. Good morning guys it's a new day. I have been studying all week long for my interview today. It's my first round interview and I am a little bit nervous. I have some pre-interview jitters. I'm hoping I can just kind of zen out and get ready. I haven't interviewed, like I said, in years. So this process has been really fun, but also a little bit stressful. So after my interview this afternoon, George and I are gonna go celebrate and get some McDonald's. Um, but I just wanted to check in with you guys, let you know that that's what's going on today. It's the big interview day today. So wish me luck and let's hope that something sticks and I get a job in England so I can officially work here and George and I can start our life here. <laughs> um, so I'll check in with you after the interview and wish me luck. Okay guys, I just finished my interview and honestly I'm not so sure how I felt about it to be honest. I think I did okay but they asked me, my interviewer asked me only two questions. They were very loaded questions and data related questions, which is not my strong suit when it comes to sales. I can answer like the behavioral questions really well and absolutely none of the options or questions that I prepared um, to study for. I think I studied and I had about, how many questions do you think? Uh, behavioral based questions. Four or five pages. Four or five about, pages, about, about like, ten each. Yeah. So about, like, I had about fifty behavioral questions typed out that I had studied my answers to. Just knew everything from in and out of all the answers for, and obviously, my interviewer asked me only two, and they had nothing to do with my list. Um, and again, we're data based, which is just not my strong suit. <sighs> So, I'm hoping I did okay, but I don't know. Um, they're gonna get back to me in a couple of days and let me know if I made it to the next round. Um, but either way, I'm a big believer that everything's meant to happen for a reason. If it's not meant to be, I'm not gonna be super upset about it, but I gave it my best, right? Yeah, I think you've done well. We'll see. 
we'll see. So anyways, my one request post interview was to go to McDonald's and get a cheeseburger because I feel like I deserve it after all that studying and the stress of my interview. Anyways, I'm gonna close out this vlog. And I'm not gonna say no to a cheeseburger. George is gonna go get a cheeseburger with me. We're gonna say goodbye and we'll check back in again um, and pick up the vlog with you guys in a couple of days. Yeah, we'll catch you later. Hopefully I'll give you an update on the interview then. So, see you later guys. See you in the next one. See ya. Bye. So Thank you.